Hi, my name is Elsie Ivchevich, and I live in Rancho Palos Verdes, California, which is near Los Angeles. And the way I learn about EFT is through a very good friend of mine, Eric Robbins. And um, the first time that I was here was in July. I have taken a class, How to Heal Yourself. And the reason that I took that class is because I have a lot of garbage, a lot of issues that were kind of haunting me through my childhood. And uh, Dr. Robbins said, you know what, I'll say, knowing a little bit about my life, he said, you really need to take this because I believe in my heart it's going to help you. And so I did. And then they uh, offered, um, well, anyway, let me look, go a little bit back. I had, get, I had gone up to the, to the chair and I sat there where I was actually cleaned up by Robert. And he, in those two hours of time, he was able to pull up so much, uh, you know, so much things that had happened to me. And I felt great. I was like flying when I left that seminar. Anyway, so after that, I did have a couple of tap sessions with Jonah. And then the level three came up. And I have level this one. level one, sorry, level one came up. And I have decided to take that class so I can learn about it and hoping that with my life experiences, what I have gone through life as a little girl, you know, and a woman, that I can help someone else with those expertise because I seem to have a lot of different area that I can help them with. And so that's why I took the class on level one. And um, what was really funny is that there was a man from Texas, his name is Jerry. He came up to me yesterday, as a matter of fact, and he said, Elsie, who are you? I said, what do you mean, who am I? He said, I know you were here three months ago. And from the time of three months ago till now, you're completely different. Well, yesterday I had a really good workout with Jonah on elevator issues. And when they were interviewing me about elevator issues, they found out it was not an elevator issue. It was a closet issue, something that happened to me as a child. And um, anyway, so he said, from yesterday till today, you flipped again. You look totally different. So for as of right now, I don't see that. But the people who are viewing me and look at me, they see the change. So I have a feeling that maybe in a couple of days, I'm going to look on a mirror and say, oh my God, it's actually somebody else. It's a new me. And that's who I am right now. But anyway, they did test me for the elevator. And um, uh, Eric and Jonah took me up to the elevator. And since I don't take the elevator myself, I mean, let me give you an example. If, the ele if I have to go to the 13 level or 14 level elevator, I will literally take the stairs and huff and puff myself all the way up just to avoid the elevator because once upon a time, I was stuck in the elevator and it was a horrible experience. And that experience kept coming back and back and back. So anyway, they took me to the PH penthouse, penthouse PT, Pent PH, yep. PH, penthouse, sorry, PH penthouse. And um, they said, well, now you have to take the elevator down. So they left me right there on the top floor and I needed to take the elevator down. And so what I did as the uh, elevator came, I got in it okay. But once I came in it, I started tapping because I felt this nervousness about me. And then as I, which I, I kept my eyes closed because I felt safe tapping with the eyes closed. So all of a sudden I kept hearing ding, ding, ding. So I thought that the ding, that means the elevator stuck. I did not know that the ding indicated every floor, had no clue. So anyway, um, I'm going down and I'm tapping and on the seventh floor, the door opens and I'm going, oh my God. Am I on the first floor? Where am I? It was so fast. But a family came in. And so I'm there tapping in the corner. So I basically explained to them. And I said, look, I have an elevator issues. <laughs> and so there's somebody waiting for me at the bottom. And um, so they're checking me to see how am I doing. And I kept on, on, the, on the tapping. But I have to be honest that I felt much better when that family came on the seventh floor. Okay, so it's going to take a lot of practice.
of the elevator, but I know that in my heart, I will conquer this. But before this, Elsie, I don't, I mean, you were telling me earlier, you would have never thought about getting on an elevator for no. nothing, right? No. So, no, yeah. no, there was no way in history. Okay. Avoided every time. And if I, I, I'm going to tell you what would happen if I was, if I needed to take the elevator, if I was desperate to take the elevator, I would actually be waiting by the elevator, hoping that somebody would show up. And then I would tell them, I have a problem with an elevator. Do you mind going to the floor where I'm going? kind of taking me there, and then you can go on your own floor. And I know that people probably thought I was like some crazy woman, but that was the only way that I could survive. Okay, so you're at the end of the level one certification training, and how was that for you? How was the class, and how was Robert's teaching style? Excellent. Robert was excellent, a little bit too fast for me. And the reason is because I think there's a little bit of a language barrier, mm -hmm. and his English is perfect, and mine is not. Anything else you'd like to share? Uh, no, actually, it was a very good experience, and I, I, I hope and pray that I am going to be a great um, a practitioner in this field. Of course, I have to go to further level to do the skills and teachings, and my dream is to be able to help a lot of people in this world, and, and I'm not doing this for money either, because uh, as long as I have a house and a car and I'm... I'm alive and I have food, I can do it for even a smaller amount just to be recognized because the thing is, is that if you do it for free, people don't appreciate it. But if you charge them something, I think they will kind of respect you a little more. So that, that's, I want to reach the world. And, and I want to reach the children because children are our future and that's where everything lies. And for those people that have been out there who's been abused, that really do not know about this fabulous healing process. I want to, I want to be there for them. And, and because I had so much experience in, 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 uh, um, in, in a world of, uh, of that, of, of the abuse, I also have experience of empathy because my husband had three brain surgeries, so I have learned how to understand people. And when I see someone across in the room, I can feel where they've been because I have been there. And I, I, if I see one single person in a room that is very shy, very not talkative, I will approach them and I say, hi, my name is Elsie. Because I know, I know the loneliness in their heart. So anyway, that's basically what I wanted to share. Thank you so much.